hi, I'm here to talk about the MAC17222 nanopower boost regulator. It's one of a family of six boost regulators, uh, specifically designed, designed for wearables and hearables. Uh, the efficiency is extended by uh, having a very low quiescent current, only 300 nanoamps at the output. Uh, it also has uh, been designed with a very small solution size in mind. We have a, a 2 by 3 0.4 millimeter WLP package and the part was designed to work with 0603 inductors. Um, it also hits peak efficiency of 95%. Uh, it was designed for longest battery life due to the low quiescent current. It will be a great choice if you're designing a wearable or a hearable. And uh, let's look at this EV kit and see how the thing parts up. Here we have a 1.5 volt supply, uh, an output voltage meter, and a scope to look at the input and output voltage waveforms as we start up. Uh, we also have a meter here for current, which we're going to look at a little bit later. So let's get this part started up. I'm going to take the enable input and I'm going to disconnect it from ground and tie it to in. Now we see the output voltage has a nice uh, rising waveform on it. That's the blue trace. Uh, the yellow trace is the input voltage. And we can see that the output voltage actually comes to a plateau at about 1.8 volts. Uh, that's to allow the part to read the R-select resistor. Uh, this single resistor is used uh, in place of the conventional resistor divider feedback string in order to save quiescent current. Now let's look at input quiescent current. Uh, what we want to do is insert this current meter in series with the input voltage. And we see that the input quiescent current currently is 20 microamps. Uh, the reason is because the enable input has a, an internal pull-up resistor that takes the enable input when it's on to either the higher of output voltage or input voltage. The uh, way that this adds quiescent current uh, can be corrected by having the enable driven through a 33 mega ohm resistor. So when I insert the 33 mega ohm resistor, I should see the quiescent current drop and it does. It's still above what we expect. Uh, the reason is because, and don't forget this, when you measure this EV kit, what you got to be uh, careful of is you don't want to have your scope probes on the input or the output because that'll add a lot of quiescent current. So we're going to take those off. And now we see the quiescent current at 850 nanoamps. This is about the right level. Uh, the 300 nanoamps at the output is actually uh, needs to be boosted from the input and so there's a two to one conversion ratio there plus there's an efficiency loss so this is about the right level. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the output as it shuts down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and short out the uh, meter again. When I take the output and I disable it, uh, you'll notice that gee, the output is still at 3 volts. Um, the reason is because this actually has a true shutdown feature that allows the output not to draw any quiescent current from the load after it's shut off, even if the output is at 3 volts. And uh, that's a nice feature to have in the case where you want to take the output and want to regulate it from an alternate source. So uh, this part is uh, really great for um, nanopower applications where we have uh, wearables or hearables that need ultra small size, ultra low quiescent current, and high efficiency. Yes. Okay, so we've looked at the operation of the MAC17222. Uh, let's look a little bit at the EV kit. The EV kit has two different versions of the part avail uh, available for evaluation. You've got a TDFN version, which is a little bit larger and easier to handle, and then you've got the ultra small 2x3 WLP version which is uh, also paired up with an 0603 inductor. By the way, we provide a number of different inductors for evaluation, uh, trading off size for efficiency. And those are available and just soldered into the back of the EV kit, so you can help yourself to any of those parts uh, to choose the right combination of size and efficiency. We've talked about the EV kit. If you'd like an EV kit of your own, you can go to maximintegrated.com slash nanopower hyphen resources. 
Uh, that's also the URL you can use to go online to try our design tools and use EESIM to simulate your nanopower boost. Uh, if you'd like loose samples, you can get those uh, by going to maximintegrated.com slash nanopower hyphen samples. Uh, thanks for watching.